Okay, so we have this intuitive idea of what a limit is, the idea of what the function is approaching, approaching as the x's get closer and closer to a particular target. Now, the question is, how can you pin that down? Well, actually, mathematicians can pin down the definition of a limit quite exactly using the idea of distance and so forth. For the purpose of calculus and the kind of stuff we're going to do together, it's not at all relevant. But just so you can see that, in fact, there really is an honest to goodness, mathematical, precise definition of a limit, it's sort of fun to see. So what is the actual definition of a limit? Well, let's inspire everything again with a picture. So remember these pictures we were looking at sort of have a function, so some sort of crazy function. Maybe, in fact, I'll put a little hole in it just to make things exciting. Are you excited by that? y equals f of x. So there's the function. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at this particular point right here. So that's the point. Let me call it c. And you see, now we know just by taking the limit, by you know, thinking about what's going on if you're moving along, heading towards c, what's the, what's the function heading towards? Well, the function, well, my pens are coming together, and they seem to want to hit right at this height. So in fact, that height is going to be our guess for the limit. So in fact, the limit we're going to guess is that value right there, because that's where my fingers are coming together and want to touch. OK, now, what does it mean for that to be the limit so from a mathematical point of view? Well, all I'm going to do is actually capture this spirit. And the spirit is the following. Points that are really, 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 really close to L actually can be found by points that are really, really close to C. So the idea is, mathematically, let's pick a really tiny number. And I'm going to call it epsilon. Usually in math, we use epsilon to denote a little teeny tiny number. So think of epsilon as really, really tiny. If you're thinking about epsilon being like a half, you're not even close. Think of it to be like you know, 1 over a billion. Now you're talking epsilon. It's got to be positive, but I want it to be really, really tiny. Now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine um, an interval around L that is of basically but radius epsilon. So what I mean is go out epsilon up and epsilon down. So that would be sort of like this. So this would be L plus epsilon, and this would be L minus epsilon. And what I want to do here is show or say that, in fact, there must be points that are very, very close to C so that when you look at where the function maps them to, they all live within this tiny band. 